Mike Vrabel was signaling something. He was not happy with the officials about some of the alignment of the Broncos. Derek Bowers, the down judge, and he were in a deep discussion. Bowers was really not interested. And I guess it's because the Broncos lined up with 12 players and there was no call. But it doesn't matter now. Russell Wilson going to have at least one more chance as this will be Stonehouse to kick off again. Stonehouse has two touchbacks. Stonehouse approaches, doesn't hit this one very well at all. Takes a funny hop, Cleveland to the 20, Cleveland to the 25, and Avery got it! Great hustle, Trey Avery to get him down at basically the same spot where they would have been had it been a touchback. Yeah, no harm, no foul. He hit a short dribbler to the shortstop, and we came out fine. In golf, you call that a good miss. Good miss. Russell Wilson, 17 of 35, 239, and a touchdown. The Titans have gotten a lot of pressure on him in the second half. He is without Jerry Judy. Judy out of the game with an ankle injury. Wilson, under pressure again, steps up, ran from behind, sacked! Walker and also Weaver there to get him down at the 23 for a loss of two and keep this clock running. That's $100 for Second Harvest Food Bank from Kroger, the fifth sack of the game. Two and a half minutes remaining in counting. Wilson fires quickly, got it complete. It's Sutton who has it at the 30 and is taken down at that point. Making the tackle, Mitchell. It's third and five. Now 2.10 to go in counting. Three receivers to the right. Wilson, feeling some heat, flushed out to his right, could throw deep. Hit as he throws, the ball goes up in the air and incomplete. As he tried to throw it downfield, he was popped hard by Weaver, and we have reached the two-minute warning with 1.54 to play. The Broncos will have to go on fourth and five when we come back. 17 for Tennessee, 10 for Denver, winding to the end. Titans trying to hold on. Denver fourth and five here, trailing by a touchdown. But Stack scores a full recap of Tennessee and Denver. Titans Radio's locker room report. It's on the way in a few minutes. They are roaring in Nissan Stadium. This is the National Football League. Wow, what an atmosphere. Fourth and five. Russell Wilson trying to keep his team alive. Titans showing all out blitz. Wilson takes the shotgun snap under pressure. Big chase will run for the first down as Adams pushes him out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Excuse me the 38-yard line. Wilson under pressure from Cole right off the bat had no choice but to take off and picks it up. A minute 48 remaining. Six defensive backs for the Titans. Wilson feeling heat, dumps it short, got it to Gordon, 45, 50. And he is into Titans territory with his first down inside the 45 to the 44. A minute 33 and counting. Broncos have one timeout remaining. Wilson checking the wristband. A minute 20 and counting. 
44 yards away from a tie. Wilson takes the snap. Looking, firing, he's got Sutton at the 30, and Sutton is down at the 27-yard line. Cole with the tackle. A minute four. Now under a minute. Wilson trying to get everybody lined up. Titans looking for one big play. Wilson takes the snap. Pressure coming. He fires. The pass is complete. It's Sutton. And Sutton is out of bounds. Where? At the 21-yard line with 42 seconds to go. Tackled by Mitchell there. On the ball. Wilson gets his team on the ball on second and four. Looking, firing the out, and Sutton fell down. Correction, Cleveland fell down. Incomplete, it's third and four at the 21 with 38 seconds to go. Again, Mitchell defending. Knowing the Titans have no other defenders to put in the game, Wilson's getting them on the ball. Absolutely. Okawanu has come in to rush the passer now. He left the game earlier dicked up. Third and four at the Titan 21. 38 seconds to go. Gordon in the backfield with Wilson. Wilson takes the snap. Looking left. Looking right. Hit. Sack. Oh, yeah, there it is. Tight there ball. It is. There it is. Tight ball. There it is. There it is. Weaver had the sack. I believe it's Okawanu with the recovery. Denver got it back. Denver got the ball back. The Titans did not get it. It looked like Okawanu had it. Wilson wrestled it back. The clock is running with 38 seconds to go. And Denver is going to have to use their timeout. Look for sure like Okawanu had it. Denver has called their third and final timeout. As the loss is back to the 33-yard line, it is going to be fourth and 16 at the 33. You can see it. It squirts back out from under Okawanu. He appeared to have it. Great hit there by Weaver. The ball is out. Okawanu is on it, and then he lost it in the pile. And Denver is able to get it back. I don't know that I've ever seen a guy fall on a ball like that and not get it. It hit his, the side of his arm. And Denver uses their last time out with 26 seconds to go. By the way, Kroger sack for cash there, $100 to Second Harvest Food Bank from Kroger, the official tailgate headquarters of the Titans. The ball has been placed at the 30. Three seconds, 3-0. Three, they are put, putting the clock back to 30 seconds. Denver is out of timeouts. And now it's going to be fourth down and 13 at the 30-yard line. They've got to get it to the Titans' 17-yard line. Wilson with an empty backfield as the Titans will now use a timeout. They will have one left. So quite an unusual circumstance occurring here in the final moments. Weaver with a third down sack. The ball comes out. Okawanu appears to have it. He loses it in the pile. The Broncos get it back and they have to take their final timeout. For a 17 to 10 game, there has been a lot happen. But a, a lot, a lot, a lot. We need to make one play here. Let's go. If the Broncos can't get it to the Titans 17 or beyond, it's over. Empty backfield. Three receivers to the left, two to the right. 
Russell Wilson with pressure coming, in trouble, hit as he throws. It's caught by Dulcich, penalty marker down. Dulcich at the 30, and he's tackled there by Kalu. Titans may have been offside. Yeah, they're going to call offsides. Offside, defense number 99. It's five-yard penalty, fourth down. Now it's fourth down, and it'll be eight yards to go. 20 seconds remaining after all of that. 10 seconds ran off the clock. So the ball is at the 25. Again, they must get it to the 17. You could make the case the Titans have had it won twice and have let it get away. They got to make it one more time. Wilson in the shotgun. Wilson under pressure, stepping up, firing downfield. It's tipped and intercepted by Mitchell, who takes a knee at the one. Yeah, let's take that one home. Get out of here, Denver. I am scanning for a flag. I am not finding one. And the Titans are going to win this football game with 11 seconds to go. This time, I'll get it right. <laughs> you always get it right. I didn't get it right on Okawanu. Yeah, the Titans got it right. The only people that got it wrong today were the officials. Let me say that again. The Titans trailed in this game 10 to nothing with 2.23 left in the first half. They had 46 yards of total offense. And now here's Tannehill from the one, sneaking it forward and not being tackled in the end zone. So this should end it. Wow. Wow. And it does. The Tennessee Titans in a three hour, 20 minute grudge match have outscrapped the Denver Broncos. This was really, really something. Final score, Tennessee 17, Denver 10, as the Titans come from behind and get it done again.